Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's Chick Quest adventure. We are so glad to be able to share this information with you for about eggs and chickens, and you're cracking out chicks as soon as they come. Remember, this is brought to you by Grow Next Gen and Ohio Soybean Council in partnership with educationprojects.org. My name is Heather Bryan, and I'm really glad you're here today. Today, our lesson is going to be focused on egg structure and design. And I want you to think about that. This is just a chicken egg, but look at its shape. Let me turn it sideways here for you. What shape is this? Elliptical? Ovoid? What do we think? Why is this egg designed the way that it is? Remember, all things in nature follow a pattern of design that helps to support the function that they serve. So let's think about the functions that the egg shape helps both the hen to lay the egg and the chick to develop inside of the egg to be strong and able to hatch out after 21 days. I brought some really interesting things today for us to think about. If I were a hen, so a mother chicken, and I was ready to lay this egg, would it be more comfortable if it were to come out in this way? What about a shape like this? That might be a little bit more difficult to pass through a hen so that that egg can be laid. Let's look at a couple of other shapes as we talk about functions that the egg serves. All right, everybody, here we are. Let's look really quick. Remember some of the functions we discussed about an egg as I put some additional shapes out here for us to test today. The egg must help the chick develop in 21 days so that it can hatch and come out and begin to peck around and drink some water. The hen must also be able to regularly turn that egg in that 21 day time so that that developing chick does not adhere or stick to the inside of the egg shell. So it has to be strong enough to hold a developing chick. It also must be able to be turned to help that developing chick be normal as it hatches out. We must make sure that it's strong enough as I tap this egg to hold the weight of the hen. Goodness, if I were a mother hen sitting on here, I want you to think that hen might be five pounds, six pounds. And I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but that's a lot of weight on this little egg. We also must make sure that the egg is strong enough to hold the hen's weight, but not so strong that the baby egg, or excuse me, that the small developing chick cannot hatch out. So has to be strong enough to keep it safe, but also it has to be resilient enough so that that developing chick can go ahead and hatch out. The last thing we need to think about is that it has to stay in the nest. So as I roll my egg, I wanna make sure that it will stay in the nest and be able to be caught up by the sides of the nest perhaps even roll in a circle and not be able to roll completely out. Let's look at a couple of different egg shapes. This probably could easily be laid by a hen. What about this square? What were some of the functions we discussed? Can we easily roll this? I guess so, but it does have some sharp points on it. What about as it travels through the mother hen's oviducts to be released? This might cause some problems, these square edges here. We also must make sure that the chick can develop normally inside of it. Would the chick's head get stuck in the corner here, do you guys think? Hmm, I'm not sure about this shape. Let's put it aside and test this triangular shape. Let's try to, let's try to roll this shape if I were a hen. I'm having some difficulty to roll this around. What about you guys? Do you have any shapes at home that you can test? Pull some stuff out and put it on a plate and see how it functions to develop a chick for 21 days. This shape is also probably difficult to pass through a hen and to come out as an egg. What about this shape? Wow, look at that one. 
I bet this could pass through a hen and be laid as an egg. But what about this? It moves pretty good. It's also a little bit smaller than this chicken egg that I see. Let's compare the two. This is an elliptical shape and this is a sphere. Definitely smaller, right? And less room inside for the chick to develop, but it is easily turned. It has a hard shell, maybe too hard for the chick to hatch out. All right, let's look at our last shape. What do you think about this? I think it's gonna be like the triangle and hard for the hen to turn this egg. It definitely stays in the nest, right? But it does have some hard shapes here. These tight corners will be tough as they move through a hen to be laid. There's lots of shapes in nature. Eggs come in all different shapes. Let's look at these. So we see that some eggs are pear-shaped. Others are oval or elliptical like a chicken egg. Some are even spherical. And then of course there's the conical eggs and the longitudinal eggs. Other things that you see here is that there are a lot of different methods of camouflage to help these natural eggs exist in the environment away from predators. What would a shape like this do that would allow it to stay in the nest? It just so happens that I had a chicken who laid an egg kind of like this one. Do you see this egg? Let me show you up here. Sometimes it's easier. This egg has a very pointy end compared to this chicken egg that you see right here. Sometimes chickens lay eggs that are different shapes and sizes. This one is very oval and this one is very conical at the end. As the egg comes through the hen, she pushes it with her muscles and that's what creates a pointy end here as that egg moves through the oviduct of the hen and it's laid to develop a chick on the inside. So eggs have lots of different functions. Remember the most important function is it has to be strong enough to allow that chick to develop, but yet weak enough for that chick to crack out. It takes a, ba um, a little developing chick about 12 to 18 hours to pip, which is what that means with its egg tooth on its beak. It pips all around the top of the egg cell, um, the air cell at the top of the egg and creates a ring. This ring then allows the chick to push out of its egg and to be born. I have some special things to show you today. We live on a farm. I don't know if I ever told you that. We went out and got a few nests to show you some other egg shapes today. Let me switch my camera. Look at this nest that was in my barn. Do you see that there are some feathers from the bird? There's lots of hay and straw that you happen to see. And inside, do you see those very small, tiny eggs? This nest is another type of egg that you see. They're still oval and elliptical in nature, but these eggs, look here, are so much smaller than chicken eggs. So birds like sparrows, which these are sparrow eggs, birds like sparrows also produce elliptical eggs. And that mother sparrow soon will be turning those eggs when I put her nest back. And after a period of time, those eggs will develop and hatch out. Pretty cool, huh? We're gonna be talking more about nests later on. Here is a nest that fell out of my tree this weekend. This is a robin's nest. Now notice that robins use any material that they can find to create a nest. There's some newspaper shreddings that you see around here that I use to um, line my horse stalls with for bedding. There's lots of twigs and grasses too. And look at the shape of this nest. They've also put some mud and some other material in there. Now this nest would hold a chicken egg. Look at that. The mother um, 
bird would be able to turn that egg, especially if they were smaller, like a robin's egg should be. And that egg would be strong enough for her to sit on and incubate so that after a period of time, those robins could hatch out. Even this ping pong ball, a spherical shape, could also fit inside of that nest and not come out. So some of the functions of the eggs that we've discussed today are pretty clear. But what about the strength of the egg? We're gonna test the strength of the egg right now. Okay, you guys can do this at home with me if you'd like, but I just wanna remind you, you should ask for parent permission. I've gone ahead and set this up for us. I have taken four large eggs and I have put them, let me show you. I've taken four large eggs and I have put them with a little bit of Play-Doh into an egg carton. And the reason I've done this is just so that the eggs are secure and they don't wobble, okay? So this little bit of Play-Doh kind of sticks it down into the bottom of the egg carton and prevents the egg from wobbling. Let's take a look. So there are four eggs that are spaced apart and I've just cut the side of my egg carton off. I have even taken a level because I love science and I have even tried to level the eggs. And you can do this at home too. The next thing I'm gonna to do to test the strength of the egg is to take a board that my son cut for me and I'm going to gently put it on the top. So far, those eggs have not cracked. Listen, because you never know what you might hear. Now, to prove how strong these eggs are, remember I said that a hen only weighs about five pounds? I'm taking a book that weighs five pounds, I think, and I'm putting it on top, just a cookbook from my kitchen. But I'm going to be very careful to make sure I put it on gently. All right, here's another cookbook. No cracking yet, guys. I'm gonna gently, gently put it on so that the weight is evenly distributed in all those eggs. I'm on my third cookbook. Do you know what that means? There's at least 10 pounds, two mother hens resting on these eggs. Oh my goodness, I'm on my fourth book. No cracking yet. I'm gonna weigh these books, but I bet I've got almost 15 pounds on these eggs. And finally, five cookbooks. Wow, look at how strong these eggs are. Now, just to make sure, I'm gonna carefully take these heavy books off so we can see if we in fact cracked our eggs. Goodness, those books are much heavier than I thought. I bet we had 20 pounds on there. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, look how strong those eggs are. They didn't crack at all. Those four eggs held over 20 pounds of books. You could even stand on eggs if you had them perfectly balanced and you had a good board on top and a little, you know, a couple more eggs there to help hold your weight. Another thing you can do really quick to test the strength of an egg is to put it between your hands and push as hard as you can. If you do this, it's very difficult to crack because the egg has a natural arch shape and that shape helps to distribute weight evenly so that as you apply even pressure, there's no cracking being done here. No way, no how. All right, guys, we had a great day today at Chick Quest Adventures. Thank you so much for coming in and helping us. We are really excited to bring this information to you today. Remember to go to grownextgen.org to be able to find more resources about Chick Quest. Okay, goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow, or excuse me, Monday, when we talk about egg physics.